With Hollywood Brown, there have been a lot of people who have came to their own conclusions as to why he scrubbed all his Ravens pictures and unfollowed the Ravens on his Instagram account. Uh, some of the reasons that some people have said, one, because he's just doing what his homeboy did, uh, Kyler Murray, of course, with the Cardinals, how he scrubbed all but two pictures off his Instagram uh, and the, then the Cardinals. They were like, oh, you know, you want to do that? We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to actually show love for you. We're going to have them the last two pictures that we got up of you. Uh, but anyway, they said he was doing it in support of his guy, Kyler Murray. Um, other people have said, oh, well, maybe um, Hollywood and the Ravens are talking a contract extension. And he wants to be paid more money than the Ravens are willing to offer him or to give him. And so now he's like, oh, you know what? I, I don't like it. Uh, other people have said, oh, well, maybe uh, it's because he wants Greg Roman out of there he's tired of Greg Roman and this is the way that he's showing that he wants Greg Roman gone um another one has been oh well he's just he's being a diva just like his cousin Antonio Brown hey well he's just like Antonio Brown and whenever people revert to that one I, I just feel like that that's so lazy that is so lazy he has been Antonio Brown's cousin for his entire life his entire life and it's sad that when Hollywood, when he does something that people view as bad, that's when they point, oh, okay, it's Antonio Brown. He's just like his cousin. Oh, it's family. Whenever he's doing something bad. But when he's doing good, nobody's ever like, oh, hey, hey, he's catching touchdowns like Antonio Brown. Oh, he's making big plays like Antonio Brown. They only refer to AB and Hollywood as family when it's about bad stuff. But anyway. And then there was another another thing that some people said, oh, maybe he was mad because the Ravens won't bring Antonio Brown on the team. So that's why he scrubbed all the picks. Then another one was maybe he was upset. <laughs> maybe he was upset that Lamar Jackson and Antonio Brown and Kanye, they were taking the pictures together. And he wasn't there. Oh, boy. People can get real creative. They can get very, very creative. Um, but one reason why I think that he may have scrubbed all the Raven stuff, at least temporarily. It'll probably be back sooner or later. But one reason why I think he may have scrubbed all the Raven stuff for now and unfollowed the Ravens is because maybe he wants his offseason to be an offseason. Maybe he wants his offseason to be a legitimate break from everything. Me, speaking from personal experience, uh, there can be some days for me that are longer than others. Some days where stuff can weigh heavier on me than it does on other days with, with this. Um, and a lot of times what, what I'll do if I just really, really like really need a break. I do it like throughout the week. I will turn the notifications off, no, no, turn notifications off from Twitter, from Instagram, from YouTube, all of that stuff. Because I don't want to see nothing. I don't want to talk nothing. Nope. No notifications, just I'm chilling. I do do something else. Um, so I can understand if Hollywood was like, all right, you know what? I, it was a long season. It was a tough season, grueling season. Went through a lot, a lot of highs, a lot of lows, and all that good stuff. So you know what? Let me just, because I don't even want to see football right now. I don't want to talk football right now. So I'm going to just unfollow the Ravens because, of course, they're still going to be posting stuff throughout the offseason. And I'm, let me delete all this stuff because all these pictures that I put with me in my Ravens uniform catching the touchdown, doing this and that, people still, they're going to be commenting on there. I just, I don't want to hear it. I need a break. So maybe he just wants his time off to really be his time off. And a, a sad part about that is that fans, a lot of fans, they, they don't want you as a football player. They don't want you to have a time off. Whenever they see you, they feel like they need to see you throwing or catching a football. They need to see you in the gym. They need to see you running routes. They need to see you exercising. They feel like everything that they see you do should be revolved around the game of football. And if you take a day off, if you take any time off, if you post anything to social media that's not uh, in correlation to the NFL, then you're lazy then you're terrible, then you're not a hard worker, then you're not really grinding in your off season. You're not working on your craft like you should be. And it's a shame that a lot of fans, they, they think that way. But that's how it is for plenty of them. It shouldn't be that way, but 
that's how it is for plenty of them. Uh, fans don't see uh, the half of it, of what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, fan, a lot of fans, a lot of us don't even understand half of what goes on uh, behind the scenes. But fans in, in this day and age of social media, they just like, give me, give me, give me now, now, now. I want to see it right here, right now. I want to see you working. And if I don't see it on my feed, then, oh, you must not really be working then. And it's, it's sad. It's sad. And what's made it even worse is that this whole thing, when it's come to Hollywood and him scrubbing everything, all the Raven stuff from his Instagram. Oh, boy, it has brought some ugliness out of a lot of Ravens fans. My goodness. You would think that these people were waiting, waiting for Hollywood to slip up or waiting for Hollywood to do something that they didn't like. Because it has brought so much ugliness out of people and just nastiness, too. I've seen so many comments, whether it be YouTube or Twitter or Facebook, all that stuff. Just, just based off of him doing that. Just based off of him scrubbing his Instagram. Oh, man, get him off the team. Oh, he needs to get out of here. Oh, man. And then people talk, oh, this, this generation of, uh, of football players, they so soft. And, and it's like so many people are saying so much stuff about this. And we don't even know the why. We, we have no idea, no clue as to why Hollywood Brown did that. No clue. Yeah. But so many people automatically assume negative and they run to the negative. Like, oh, man, it's because of this. It's because of that. Oh, man, he's terrible. He needs to go. He's da, 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 da. And it's like, whoa. Hold up now. So slow down there, buddy. Hold up. Let's relax for a second. Let's 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 take a breather. Cause it seems as if Hollywood may he may be wanting to take a breather from everything, but a lot of fans they need to take a breather just the same. If when when you take your breaks from work, even even on a fifteen minute break, and I know so many of y'all can relate to this. If you at work and you working hard. And you see, oh, it's almost time for my 15-minute break. Oh, it's coming up. I can't wait. Here we go. Then you get on your 15-minute break. Chilling. You might be on your phone. You might be relaxing. You may go to the car, sit down for a little bit. You chill. You may, you may just step outside the building for a couple of minutes. And if somebody come up to you, hey, um, can, can you help me with this thing? For, uh, nope. I'm on my break. Don't want to hear about work. Don't want to see about work. Don't want to talk about work. Don't want anything to do with work. Talk to me when my 15 minutes is over. Right now, Hollywood is on his break. Maybe he wants it to be just that, a break. And I'm sure it's happened to a lot of you as well. It happened to me before too, when you would be on lunch and you're on your lunch break. You may be in the building or whatever, walking around or something, and somebody, they ask you for help. Oh, can you help me with something real quick? And you're like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I, I got to help them with something real quick. I know it's my lunch break, but I'll help out real fast. No, no problem. And you go to help, and that help ends up taking up your entire lunch break. That can be very exhausting. That can be very draining. That can be very frustrating, and that can be very upsetting because it's like, man, my lunch break was supposed to be just that, a break, a lunch break to where I could eat my lunch and be away from all this work stuff where I could just step back and not have to do anything in regards to work. But no, I read that comment, but no, I, I saw that story about football, but no. And maybe that's what happened to Hollywood. Maybe he's just like, you know what? Let me just clean all this stuff and just be done with it for now. Now, obviously not forever. And again, it's, I, I'm still kind of sad because there are still, two days late. there are still people that still believe the whole him retiring to be a full-time streamer. There are still people that believe that, still. He even came on Twitter the other day. He said, man, what did I log back into? And then he said, if I did decide to retire, uh, I will become a professional troll. But then he ended up deleting those two tweets. Um, but, <laughs> so, but anyway, just word of advice to anybody um, when it comes to these players and whatnot. 
Remember, they're not just players that they are people too. They're people. They are, they are real life people. They're not just robots. They're not animated characters to where they don't get any off time. Like they're, they're not, you don't control them by picking up an Xbox or a PS5 controller and when you load up Madden. No, those are not those players. They're not in your gaming system to where every time you turn it on to play Madden, they, that's all they do. You run routes with them, you throw to them, you make plays. With them. No, no, no. They have a real off season and they have actual lives. Now, again, I don't know if this is the actual reason why Hollywood did it scrubbing. But let's just instead of just jumping to all these crazy conclusions, instead of just coming up with all these crazy scenarios as to why, let's just relax and now it's okay to to wonder and think oh could it be this oh could it be that oh could it be because of this could it be because of that that's fine but don't drive yourself crazy with uh, so much negative thinking because it's just it's not good for you at all it's not good for anybody whatever he scrubbed his instagram for is whatever he scrubbed his instagram for only he knows the reason maybe his agent does too but and it could be anything. It could be a rebranding. It could, because again, a lot of athletes, they do this every year, really. A lot of athletes. But I know us as fans, when we see stuff like that, especially from a star player on or a favorite team, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa what, what's, what's this about? Because I know when Rashad Bateman did it early this year, I was thinking, whoa, what, whoa, what, what was this about? Um, but just like I said back then, just hope that it would end up really being a bunch of nothing. And that's the same thing with Hollywood and this whole little thing going on right now with his pictures. Hopefully it's a bunch of nothing. Um, but please don't drive yourself crazy trying to make it something. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please take care of yourself up here. And I don't say that in a joking way. Please take care of your mind, your, your mental state of mind, your thoughts, all that stuff. Take care of it because it's very important. Y'all stay up, be good to yourselves, and I will see y'all soon. We out.